Today, we'll explore the sizes of tsunamis, from the smallest to the most giant, and talk about the damage they can cause. This wave is three feet long. It's not considered dangerous, and it's too weak to destroy a city. The next wave is still ranked as moderate. You may notice that the wind is blowing the trees and the flags. And this is a big storm. The maximum wave height is around 40 feet. The wind speed may reach up to 28 miles per second. Such a storm can rip off roofs and damage small coastal buildings significantly. And this wave is 86 feet high. A surfer from Germany managed to ride it in 2020 and set a new world record. This is a reconstruction of the powerful tsunami that occurred in 2011 in the Japanese region of Tohoku. The waves were up to 131 feet high. Such waves are capable of wiping entire villages off the face of the earth. In 1946, wave heights during the April Fool's Day tsunami reached 164 feet. Such a tsunami can bring serious damage to high-rise buildings. In 1792, during the Unzen Mega Tsunami, the waves reached 427 feet. In 1980, St. Helens Mega Tsunami brought waves as high as 656 feet. And this wave is almost twice as high as the Eiffel Tower. It's 1,700 feet tall. It was registered in 1946 during the Latuya Bay Mega Tsunami. Phew, thank goodness it's just a simulation and no one got hurt.